Hi guys, welcome to your reading. Today we are gonna do Sagittarius Love Quick Reading for the weekend. Yeah. Let's see what's going on, my beautiful Sagittarius's. My fire signs. <laughs> Spirit, ancient ancestors, the universe, spiritual guides, please come through for my channel and messages for Sagittarius at this time. Thank you so much. Alright guys, let's see what's going on. Do, do, do. So this will resonate with you if you are a Sag or you have Sag in any of your houses, charts, etc. Blah, blah, blah. Um, spirit, ancient answers, whatever it is, you guys, please come to home and channel the message for Sagittarius at this time. This is a love reading. What is the energy for Sagittarius right now? Ooh, Sagittarius. Ooh, Sagittarius. Who being fake out here? Who not showing you how they really feel, huh? Because somebody out here not showing you their true feelings, how much they actually love you because this is actually true love, okay? Oh, okay. And they're super attracted to you. And look, at the bottom of the deck, heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. All right, so I feel like just off the top, so this series you're dealing with someone that um has strong feelings for you and you have strong feelings for them right but they're not expressing these feelings to you they're not keeping it real they're hiding some type of feelings from you oh let me make a design here yes yes sorry so it was like girl fix your table got you okay i got you <laughs> Let's see what's going on here, Sag. Look at this, look at this. This is just wanted to pop out. What is it? Ooh, give it a chance. Give it one more date. Something happened here, Sag. We're gonna get into it. We're gonna see what it was. We're gonna see what it is. Ooh, spirit. What is the energy here? Please clarify deception. What is the energy here? Who is being deceptive to my Sagittarius? Huh? What's who is doing this? Who's doing this? Who's being deceptive? Oh, snap. So first of all, Sagittarius, is, whether you're female or male, stop trying to fix this person. This is someone you're trying to fix. Don't try to fix others. Heal yourself to attract the best partner. People pleasing. Trust the process. All right? You guys are like really trying to heal your hearts at this time because you are going through a self-inner healing. You're healing some childhood trauma um and this is what may be um okay okay i'm sorry sir i got it i got it all right so no this person you're dealing with all right is treating you the way they're treating you because they need to heal some childhood trauma <laughs> spirit was like it's not them stupid i'm like all right sorry <laughs> all right all right so it's not you guys sagittarius even though if you may have to heal some childhood trauma then you know you should always do that healing is always necessary it's always great you you know we're never done healing in general i include myself so um yeah so this person is treating you a certain way they're hiding their feelings because of something from their past their childhood trauma the graduate new life phase or stage in relationship someone has grown healed evolved Ew. this person is in the process baby all right so they possibly have graduated when it comes to them healing at this time but but they're not really where they need to be to communicate this with you you know this person has gone through a process apparently they had to look within i have a feeling like Someone walked away here and this is what caused, there was some trust issues. This is what caused this like kind of like awakening, awakening to the fact that they have some issues from their past that reflect on their relationships and that's why they wear this mask. Oh my gosh. They know you're the real deal, baby. All right. They know that, that you're the real deal. They may have like walked away to see if the grass was greener on the other side. You know what I mean? Like testing other people's lawns, you little... <laughs> um spirit is really basically saying like make a list see if this person is worth like working with but you also need to do some inner work you also need to do some healing 
This person is missing you, baby, all right? They want to communicate this to you. They ran away. You know why they ran away? Because shit got too real. Shit got way too complicated with their heart, all right? This person has a pattern of doing this. Whenever things get real, whenever things get way too beautiful, they run away because they're scared. Something from their childhood. Something, something about somebody breaking their heart and walking away when they were vulnerable, when they were um, young. Yeah, this is like something subconscious that they do. They don't. Need, they're not even aware that they're doing this. They're subconsciously doing this. Um, all right, my sages, you guys need to realize your light because you guys are magical. You guys are here. You guys could definitely be manifesting some type of change here, and it's happening. All right, this person, somebody walked away from this um situation and made this person really reflect on how they treat people and what's going on with their heart because they were having some subconscious thoughts in um how they were treating people they were like but why did i do that i don't know oh shit because you know da -da -da -da. so yeah so that's what happened but this person has gone through the healing is almost like at the finish line very very close to the finish line inches away um and now just needs to build up the confidence because they're missing you right um Spirit wants you to feel great first before this person comes in because the more you hire your vibrations, the more um, it will attract them to come into your life. And this situation definitely triggered this person, this separation, this um, this space between you and them. Regardless if it was physical, um, verbal, or emotional, like whatever, it triggered them. It really did. They overreacted. Whether they showed you this or not, they did overreact. This really bothered them. Um, so because of that, now they got to deal with their ego, right? Cause they missing you and they know what they did was wrong. Yeah. Someone left here. Look later, dude, someone left because they weren't being treated. Right. I feel like that's you Sagittarius. Love yourself enough to accept only the best, let go of the wrong person. Be comfortable to be alone. Yeah. And this person was being fake. Yeah. Like I said, wearing a mask cause they have a pattern of doing this whenever shit gets real. Right excuse me okay not cool but i understand because this is what happens when um people don't heal people don't heal themselves from certain traumas then other people got to pay the price unfortunately all right spirit why is true love here may a clarification for true love i don't wanna know if you play in me keep it on the low Cause my heart can't take it anymore And if you creep in, please don't let it show Yup, that's the vibe, alright? This person is triggered You were pissed because this person may have been playing with you Jiggling, look at that, mingling Yup, they were mingling out here They had destructive habits, you know? They were out here doing their thing, living their best life Not worrying about your heart But this is a total connection, okay baby? This person's scared of abandonment all right because they did something in their childhood um someone abandoned them in their past and that's what they're afraid of that's why they escaped okay and you're out here trying to fix them but you don't need to you're overthinking the situation okay babe because at the end of the day this person is coming back to you because you are a total connection to them they feel a connection this is true love they know it's true love all right attraction you guys are very physically attracted to each other <laughs> Oh, I love when I see attraction. This person sees you, like, as a very beautiful person, by the way. Like, there's many layers to you. And they like the way you smell. Spirit, ancient ancestors, universe, spiritual guides. Please clarify attraction here. What are they attracted to here? <laughs> They're attracted to how you think. They're attracted to how you set your expectations on life. How you're a go-getter. Oh my god, so you're attracted to a lot of things about you. Alright, this person is a narcissist, by the way. That's why they were testing everybody's lawn out here. You know what I mean? They have a guarded heart. They don't let you know what they feel about you, but they do want to invest in you. And like I said, you guys are going to be back together because the attraction is real, okay? Mm -hmm. they're gonna graduate babe don't worry about it it's just gonna be a matter of time because mm -hmm. they know you're worth it 
and they know they have a total connection. They're strategizing right now how they're going to do this. Right? They really miss you. They feel like they have some baggage that you won't deal with. That's why they needed to take a break. And baby, the meditation always brings answers. Remember that, all right? Meditation always brings answers. I'm going to leave it like this because I want y'all to know y'all getting back together. Okay. Now let's go into the Tero. Tero, where you at, Tero? Let's see right here. We're going to go with this tarot because I'm feeling it for you guys. Very Guys, please come forward, help me channel messages for Sagittarius, Sagittarius, Sagittarius. Okay, okay. I don't know why, guys. I don't know if y'all got like mad energy or something. I just feel like I have so much energy right now. Whoa, thank you, Spirit. Earlier, I didn't have. Whoa, okay. Earlier, I didn't have. Oh, I just got like electrified with heat oh yeah this person is extremely attracted to you when i mean extreme i mean extreme like you really fit them they love the way you look they like the way you dress and they love the way you smell i'm gonna do an extended facts i'm gonna do an extended um sexual reading like what this person feels about you sexually so like that's cool i'll do that that's going to be in the description down below. If you want to, um, what's this? Yeah, there was a breakup. But this person wants to come back because they want to give you, you're single right now. Mm hmm I know you're single, Sagittarius. Because it was a breakup, right? This person's all super clouded and stuff. Like, open your eyes, all right? Open your eyes. Because you know you got the catch. We know you know it. We saw it. You felt it. We know you're here. Hello. All right, spirit, ancient ancestors, spiritual guides, please make sure you the channel the messages for Sagittarius. <sighs> Can we please clarify why deception is here? Why is deception here? Ooh, child, this person is hot. This person is hot. You guys have unfinished business, baby, all right? This person does think you're their world, but it's unfinished. There was a lesson that needed to be learned here from both parties in regards to the divine. They said you guys need to learn some type of lesson, all right? So that's why you guys have some unfinished business, all right? And then we got the seven of wands in reverse. So, uh, you know, this person um may have some weak-ass boundaries when it comes to love, you know? And because of that, they felt like they had to run, right? They quit, little quitters. But there was no need for all that. Ooh, child, we got the three of pentacles in reverse here. Yeah, this is sloppy, okay? This person feels like you you didn't support them or you feel like they didn't support you. This could easily, easily resonate with some of you guys as a third party. All right. This person may be dealing with someone else. Like it came out that they think they're like little bachelors or whatever. But <laughs> excuse me. No, you're not. All right. And this other person that they're dealing with is rather is really, really smothering. All right. They have low insecurity. Um, this is going to be for some of y'all that have that third party, you know, because this is a general reading. Uh, if you want a more private reading, the information is down in the description below. But this other person that I see here is very smothering, very insecure. They're addicted to your person, okay? Um, there is going to be, um, you guys are a little bit, possibly a little bit, like, anxious. And not really having faith in this connection because you don't really see things going. Because you feel like they're isolating themselves. But this isolation will stop. Will stop. It will come to an end, okay? This person is, um... The fool in reverse so this person was very careless and they're feeling you're absent at this time this person is gonna definitely have a tower moment there's gonna be a major shift a major change in their life that's gonna happen very quickly okay yeah the four of swords in reverse you know this person's anxious very burnt out they want to act but they don't know how to like it's like they don't know how to communicate this person may have been very manipulative when it came to you my loves you know, um, that's why you left. This person is very sexual, very into the sexy times, you know what I'm saying? And um, this was an issue in the relationship, but things are going to be seen very clearly in the future, very soon, okay? This person, yeah, this person has a lot of, like, listen, uh, Linda, all right? Listen, Charlie, this person has sex problems, all right? They're very obsessive when it comes to sex, okay? Like, chill out, boo, relax, calm the batteries down, let it rest. 
okay? <laughs> this person is very um chaotic. Like, they really just act. They don't think before they act. They just act because they're impulsive. And they think with their downstairs instead of their upstairs. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Jesus. But this person is going through an awakening right now, all right? They are going. They're, they're almost there. They're almost there, baby cakes, all right? This person is self-sabotaging his own future or her own future. You know what I'm saying? That's why they're going within. They're isolating themselves from everyone. Not you, babe. Not just you, babe. From everyone. Because they're hurt right now. They feel like they need to heal. They need to see some type of light. And they're going to come back and offer you something new. They want to give you a gift. They want to start something new with you. And this gift is like them, their way of saying sorry because they really have a hard time speaking their truth, right? So they want to show you their truth. And they see you as the empress. They see you as a very warm, nurturing, caring person that, they could, that you could be the mother of their children, their wife, their everything if you're not already, you know? If you don't already have their child. But they want more children if you already have children, you know what I'm saying? Ten of swords. There's going to be some type of ending here. Yeah. You walking away. Goodbye, Charlie. Yeah, but they're going to come back mad sweet. They're going to come back mad sweet, all right? Maybe with some flowers, maybe with some chocolates. I don't know, some type of gift gesture. And then, babe, listen, I'm so sorry. I was wrong. I, you didn't deserve that. Together, we're powerful. You mean everything to me. Yeah, because you walked away because everything was hazy, you know? Look at you walking away looking all fly. Like, yeah, you're not satisfying me. I'm not emotionally fulfilled here, so goodbye, all right? <laughs> you guys have a serious strong connection. That's all I gotta say. All right Woo, child. Okay, so back to deception So yeah, there's some unfinished business here, right? This person really feels like they have um their anxiety The anxiety with them is like on a 10 They they want to speak to you. They feel like they need to come forward, but you know they're being held back because They're very rash. They're very they're, they're like active Look at that. You're coming out again. All right, hold on. I'm going to just... Listen. I'm going to just take it out. I'm going to just take it out. Break it. At the bottom of the deck, the hangman. Yup. You and this person possibly are not busting a move at this time. This person is in this type of energy. Why? Because this person is in this type of energy. So they're not busting a move because they're out here being all weak and stuff. And they feel like they're not ready. And like I said, this person is very sexually, um, yeah, so we, so interesting. Okay. So this person, because they had a mask, there was an ending, right? Because they were now here showing you their feelings. You walked away. They're going to come with a love, a love offer. You felt like it was too much to deal with. This person really had you in some very chaotic energy. And I got to take my sweater off because they're really hot for you. And I'm hot right now. Oh my gosh overall no matter what this person what they didn't want to show you with the mask is that they love you and they feel like you are everything you're nurturing you're beautiful you're wifey material they want to marry you and this is what they weren't showing you with this mask and it has them anxious because they feel like they have unfinished business with you and you guys aren't there right well guess what boo boo we're the pants all right we're the pants come come through with some with some clarity all right out here being weird all right spirit ancient ancestors spiritual guys please give me clarity for true love true love this person really likes to smell you <laughs> oh spirit ancient ancestors spiritual guys please clarify the true love here please clarify true love I don't wanna know if you play me, keep it on the low. Sag, that song, go listen to it because I don't know the name of the song, but you know, is that song I don't wanna know? Um, I guess that's what it's called. Because in the song that's all he talks about. And that's the song that Spirit is challenging channeling to me right now for you. I don't wanna know. There's messages in there for you, okay? It's stronger than this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. There was a lot of um somebody was being shady in regards to this true love. They weren't showing their cards, they weren't telling you how they feel. You know, you're out here feeling like 
song i'm free fuck you oh excuse me <laughs> excuse my language and they're stressed about it they're stressed that they don't have you right now they were being greedy they were being super greedy with their feelings and possibly with their finances right how dare you Yep, they're scared of change, but they love you. And they're really, really heartbroken at the fact that you're not with them because they can't control you, all right? And we got the Queen of Pentacles here in reverse. So I don't know if you guys are financially dependent on this person or, you know, you're you're very jealous when it comes to this person, Um, but this is the energy that you're coming off as definitely um but this person does see you as a go-getter they do see that you're very um practical and able to do whatever you want to do queen of cups yeah they see you as a very emotional person a person that just gives lots of love and shares all her feelings and energies very nurturing very caring very free person you wear your heart on your sleeve and this person sees you as a queen or a king, depending if you're a female or male. Spirit, what's the outcome of this true love situation what, for Sagittarius? What is the outcome? I don't want to know if you play me. Oh, we got the king of pentacles in reverse. This person is also very jealous of you, my babes. Okay. It's also, this person is also very jealous of you. Oh, hell no. You know, there's going to be um financial and um there's going to be a financial stability with you and this person. Spirit, what can Sagittarius expect with their person in regards to true love? What What is going to be? What can they expect? This person really needs to change their attitude, okay? That's all I gotta say. This person is very, like, stubborn. Jeez. Um, babies, like, seriously, just expect this person, like... You guys are... Let me see. Spirit, can you please clarify the King of Swords? I, I'm just like, listen. Listen, Linda. Your, your person's very stubborn. Wow. Okay. All right. So I can have one more card to clarify what to expect with this lover of theirs. Guys, I'm going to keep it a trill with you. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to keep it a buck with you. All right? Don't kill me. I'm just telling you what the spirit is saying. All right? So, like, what you could expect with this person here, guys, is just, like, lumps. Right? Ups, down, ups, down, ups, down, ups, down. Doing bad, trying to make up for it. Doing bad, trying to make up for it. Doing bad, trying to make up for it. Right? There's just, like, a back, forth, up, down, hot, cold, hot, cold energy here. Right? So this person is going to be very, um, this person is very self-centered, right? And they're going to want to, like, basically offer you something, like a gift, right? Like I told you earlier. And this is, like, their way of saying sorry. Like, I, I don't know if they do this all the time or what, but... This person has like a lack of ambition when it comes to the relationship, but they just want to give you things and you're just uncontent because you don't want things. You want love, right? So what you're not seeing is that with this milk being spilled, you still got milk behind you, right? So like, it's like you're going to be crying over spilled milk, but you don't need to be because you have options. You have something behind you that's even better. 
So you're going to be in this energy of like, you're going to be like, basically, you're going to be successful in something, right? This is like outside of your relationship. And this is really going to be your focus. You're going to be focused on focusing on yourself and being successful and just freeing up your own energy because you're going to feel like this person is like not doing what they need to do. You know what I'm saying? All right. I'm going to see something. Yeah, this person, you know, like someone's out here. You're going to get clarity on the situation. Just know that you're like waiting for something to happen, to change. But this person is just out here being like scattered, like emotions here, emotions there. Judgment is going to be called, but there's going to be some type of denial, some fear of change. You know, this person is still going to continue to be like in a little hoe, you know. You're not, you need to, on. you need to listen to your intuition, you know. You're going to be repeating the past a lot. And you're going to feel stuck. But eventually you are going to have some type of offer. And this offer is going to be, is going to be very passionate. And you're going to be very happy. You're going to be the queen of wands. You guys are very sexy. You guys are going to be very passionate about this change. You're going to be juggling both love and finances. You know, I still, I see you juggling two people, honestly. And there's going to be something you're not seeing, okay? So you're going to have options out here, babe. Um, I'm going to see what the angels have to say about this. You guys are going to get back together. But like I said, this person, like, you need to be very assertive when it comes to what you want with this person. Because this person's very focused, like, on themselves. Like, very selfish energy. And if you allow them, they'll keep doing what they're doing, right? And I'm just, I just don't want that for you, Sagittarius. All right? I want to keep it funky because that's what we do out here. Very ancient ancestors, universe, spiritual guides. What does Sagittarius need to know right now in regards to this love interest of theirs? What does Sagittarius need to know? You need to wait. You need to you need to give this person room to like grow because this person's not getting it. They're not gonna get it right away, especially if you give them your love. You know what I mean? Like they're just gonna keep playing and toying with you. It's like a yo-yo in and out and around. This is going to be in the near future that you're going to be with them. You know, you need to get more information. Um, I feel like at this time, because I saw you do have options, I feel like you should entertain someone else at this time and just wait for this person to get their shit together because they're out here just being very, like, they have very negative, low vibrational energy. So they need to learn a lesson. There's lessons here that need to be learned, and this person especially needs to learn it. But they're not going to be able to learn it if they're in your life, you know? Yeah, they're saying to look for a sign. Spirit, ancient ancestors, spiritual guides. What other message do you have for Sag at this time? Na, 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 na. There's going to be some type of approval in health, meaning that this person will be healing as well as yourself. You guys need to meditate. You guys need to clear your chakras. Definitely, that's something that we always need to do repetitively. Like, I do it all the time. I get my Reiki's, like, bi-weekly. And a year from now. So, a year from now, I feel like a year from now, you and this person are going to have success. You know? Because this person has a lot of healing to do. Yeah, it's going to be perfect timing a, a, a year from now. You see, because this person is recovering. They need to heal. You know, there's going to be abundance. And you need to trust in the process. You need Meditation brings answers, all right? Now, let me see. I don't want to know if you claim. What does Sag need to know about her person as far as outcome? 
What does Sag expect from her person in the near future? I'm just trying to get a confirmation out here. Spirit hates when I do this, but I'm sorry. <laughs> I just, you know, I want to make sure that you guys understand and, you know, like, what's going on. Because I'm all about the love. I want, I want, to, I want to get good news. Yeah, see, they're, they're coming out still as very, like, what's at the bottom of the deck? The sun in reverse. Okay, so, yeah, there's going to be delays, baby. Okay, you're going to be waiting for this person to get their stuff together. All right, um... So this person's still coming out as a as a very still very sexual person with lots of weaknesses. They're not ready for the connection. Therefore, we got the Ten of Wands. You're going to be moving on because you're going to find new hope somewhere else. And you're going to be healing and you're, there's better times ahead, right? We have the Hangman in reverse. So this is like an energy of um, you're going to feel like I need to take care of myself. You're going to feel like a victim because this person is being a traitor. Because you guys have a very strong connection. A very, very, very strong connection. This person feels it too. But because if they're not doing the right thing, you're going to be leaving them, right? If you live with them, you're going to be moving out. And we got the three of wands in reverse as well. There's going to be setbacks, right? Damn. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this person is gonna is, needs to make a move, but they're not in the right energy. Well, Saji, let me see what your person has to say to you. Let's see what their ass has to say. Okay, and then after this, if you want to meet me in um for the extended reading, the link will be down below. I'll do the extended sexual reading in regards you to you and your person. If you're interested in that. If not, it's okay. I'll see you in another time. Another video. Okay, babes? I love y'all regardless. We're going to do the Charmies in a second too. Spirit, what does Sagittarius person want to say to them at this time? What does Sag want to say to them? At, Sagittarius person want to say to them at this time? My life has never been the same since I met you. I keep seeing your name everywhere. So this person is consistently being reminded of you and like they really miss you and they're very jealous they're very jealous i would not be surprised if this person is like stalking your social media account um this being vulnerable scares me you make them feel vulnerable i see something that reminds me of you everywhere i go again this person is consistently thinking about you regardless if they're expressing this to you or not because i feel like they're not I still remember the first day we met. I feel unworthy of your love. Yeah, because you out here being Mingler, Mr. Mingler, Mrs. Mingler. They feel unworthy of your love. They feel like you deserve better, you know, out here being a savage. You always know just what to say to make me smile. You guys are so beautiful. You guys are so kind-hearted. You guys are full of love and light. And that's why this person also loves you. How could I hurt someone so beautiful? I don't know, all right? I don't know. How could you? Sorry, sorry. I get emotional. Chill, Jalissa, chill. Okay. They're confused as to why they hurt you, all right? This is, how, this is how silly this person is. They have sex issues. Let me tell you that right now, right? So that's why they do stupid things, right? And they're confused why they hurt you because you're so damn beautiful. I told you you guys are sexy as fuck. And this person's confirming it. I need you more and more each day. Yeah, yeah. I randomly smell your scents and it brings back loving memories. I wish you could see my smile when I get messages from you, of course, because you know you don't deserve them. I cannot hide my smiles even when we are apart. Yep. You are the best thing that has happened to me. My whole world is falling apart. I don't want you to see it. Yeah. They're falling apart of it. I told you they're depressed. You make me see things within myself I'm scared to see. You make this person see that they need to grow up, right? <laughs> oh my God, babies. All right? So let's go into your charmies. Let's see what the charmies have to say. If you have headphones on, this is the moment to lower the volume. Oh, no, no. 
This person really thinks you're beautiful. All right, we have the Seven of Pentacles. So this person definitely um wants to work towards you, but you guys are definitely gonna receive some type of some type of compensation, some type of award for working your ass off. You guys are hard workers. Um, we have the Six of Cups. So this person is definitely coming back, all right? Just be very careful when they do. Make sure that they're ready to commit. If not, to the left, to the left. Everything you own is in the box, to the left. <laughs> yeah, that's my car. Leave the keys right there. All right. <laughs> um, a nine of cups. So yeah, there's definitely this. You're, first of all, first of all, first of all. You guys are going to be emotionally and materially fulfilled. Your wishes are going to come true, okay? So let's just keep that on the board, all right? It's on the board. You got the seven of spades, the seven of um, wands, <laughs> sorry. Um, You're definitely going to be defending your, your position. Um, You're going to be overcoming this obstacle. You're not going to let it break you because you guys are strong as hell, right? And you're smart as hell. So I love you guys, all right? So let me see as far as initials initials first middle and last initial we have e we have a we have j we have m we have v we have t we have z as in zebra uh anything else anything else we have you i love you all right i love you this person loves you they love you a lot. What you feel for them, they feel for you. That's why they're going to come back to you, right? Just make sure to, like, be assertive when they do. Give a girl the right shoes and she can conquer the world. Marilyn Monroe. So Spirit is saying, give the girl the right shoes and she could conquer the world. That is freaking right, all right? So this is Spirit telling you, like, all you need to do is put on the right shoes and you're going to be... You're going to be holding it down, especially for yourself, okay? Strong is beautiful, all right? So you guys got to be very strong, okay? Know your worth, baby, okay? Listen, listen. I can and you will, all right? Right now, you're really in your head about this scenario. It's like me versus me. So it's like you versus you in regards to this thing. You're like really battling yourself. Should I, should I not? Which way do I go? But just know that spirit is here with you. The angels are helping you and watching you during this time. Love and be loved. Yes. When you love, you should be loved in return. But you will be getting um, new love. Which, your wishes are being fulfilled. Your wishes are coming, like I said. I think that's a dragonfly. But this is definitely um, saying that you guys are blossoming into a new person. You guys are growing. And then we have here the fairy with the globe. So definitely um, the divine is here helping you with this scenario and in life in general. We have the owl because you guys are very smart and wise. You need to listen to your intuition. And we got it twice, baby cakes. We got it twice. I don't know if this could be your twin flame. You know, I get very strong twin flame vibes, but... This is a dolphin with a globe again. This just is this thing about being pregnant, all right? There's this pregnancy energy. So be careful if you're not trying to get pregnant. You guys are very lucky and smart and very, like, fun people. We have the key because you have the key to this person's heart, believe it or not. We have the infinity symbol identifying the divine being here. Spirit is here with you. We have the book because you need to do some inner work, some inner healing, baby. And you need to do your homework in regards to this person. We have the lucky charm. Because you guys are going to get lucky very soon. There's going to be something amazing coming your way. We have the watermelon. Because you guys are juicy and sweet. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> we have the crown, right? Because you guys are queens and kings, all right? And identify as this. And only be treated as so, okay? We have this triangle right here. Because I feel like... There may have been another person involved in the situation. A third individual. And then we have the star. Because, oh, star, where are you going? 
We have the star because spirit is here and they're granting your wishes behind the scenes. They want me to tell you this, okay? And I love you guys, all right? So if you want to go to the extended reading to see um, what to know about your person sexually, this person is very sexual, so I'm good. I'm interested. Um, the link will be below for this. Okay, guys, I love you. Mwah. Make sure to like, share, subscribe to my channel. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought about this. I love the feedback, okay? Bless.